Hello, uh, my name is Dan Meyer, and I'm the author of The Dung Beetles of Liberia, which is a, a novel uh, based around the uh, experiences of uh, a young, young American who traveled to Liberia in the 1960s uh, and worked uh, as an air transport pilot. Uh, the first thing that people usually ask me is, why the title? Because it, it can be off-putting, and, uh, and I agree. It, it was a working title, and uh, I meant to find something a little more lofty and literary. But as I got through the book, and it was about halfway through, I realized that thematically it was uh, the most appropriate, uh, appropriate title I could find. And, um, you know, because it's basically about people who act like dung beetles, grasping and greedy and crawling through junk to get what they want, and that type of thing. Uh, so, yeah, it, it stuck, and uh, while I've made a number of apologies for it, I, I don't, don't regret it. Why did I write this book? Um, I wrote it to capture the experiences of a good friend of mine who, who was in Liberia then and who did work as an air transport pilot. And uh, I wanted to preserve those, those experiences uh, for, um, for, well, for posterity. But also, I wanted to write about the destructive effects of an oligarchy, uh, and what, what an oligarchy eventually does to the society that it rules over. And the irony of this, this, this whole thing is that the, the, the controlling oligarchy known as the America Liberians were themselves the descendants of former slaves, uh, American slaves that had been transported to Africa, to what is now Liberia, uh, by the American Colonization Society starting in around 1822, something like that. They, uh, after a rather intense struggle, uh, they gained control of, uh, of the country and defined it and, uh, uh, and, and, and established a, a one-party one rule. Uh, they did construct the government based loosely on the United States version, but uh, they only allowed one party of the true Whig Party and the, the people who ran things and owned just about everything were the America Liberians. Uh, eventually, of course, all of this had to come to an end, uh, like it did in France in the 18th century and in Russia in the 20th century. So um, that, that was another reason I wanted to look into this, this question.